everyone, Flaming Footy here, and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be continuing our round previews. Yes, continuing our AFL 2022 round previews. Now, in today's video, it is going to be a little bit shorter because uh, of the buy rounds and everything like that. So that is going to be nice, a little bit of a shorter one for a change. But in today's video, we're pretty much going to be going over our tips again um, and who I think will win. And, yeah, some other outcomes. So, that's what we're going to be doing. It's probably not going to be too long because of uh, the less games. There's only six um, in this round, which I... Yeah, the buys. So, we'll go over the buys real quick. Uh, Carlton, Essendon, Port Adelaide, Richmond, St. Kilda, and GWS. Some actually pretty big teams. Um, some really big teams. Carlton, St. Kilda, Port Adelaide, Richmond that are having buys. Of course, every team will be having a buy, though. Got some really exciting matchups this round. And some really one-sided matchups as well. So let's hop right into things. We'll start off on the Friday night with the Western Bulldogs versus the Geelong Cats at Marvel Stadium. Now this is definitely a genuine 50-50 contest. Any team can scalp a win here. I think it's going to be close, uh, but other people have said dogs or cats by a bit of a margin. I am pretty confident that either team could take this game. I feel like it is really 50-50 and any team could win with, I believe, the Dogs being, I mean, anyway, the slight money favourites. Um, and it is at Marvel, so you would have, you'd go, you'd just, your brain would go straight Dogs. Now, that could probably fool people. They did come off of a 101-point win over West Coast in Perth, which is quite impressive. They sit 8th. The Cats, however, sit 6th on the ladder. They came, they overcome a little bit of a crow challenge, but again, the crows didn't really put much to the table. They were in the game for a little bit, and then the cats just dominated. Um, now, this one is such a 50 50 game that I found this one probably one of the hardest games to tip of the round. But I've said the cats by three, as I just feel like they are the better team. What they've been doing this year has been amazing, and I just feel like they'll be too good for the Western Bulldogs. For the Western Bulldogs, but this is a real, this is a really big game as well for both the teams' seasons. Um, so I, I feel like this game, this matchup, suggests a close Friday night thriller. So now we go to the Adelaide Oval for the Adelaide Crows versus the West Coast Eagles. I don't think there's going to be anything special about this game. Um, I think this game is going to be quite one-sided. Adelaide sit 15th on the ladder. West Coast sit 18th on the ladder. Now, I'd be extremely surprised if West Coast were to get up. Adelaide, they were favourites against GWS in round 7, I think. I think it was round number 7. But they were favourites against GWS and lost the game. <laughs> Could it happen again? I, I, I really hope it doesn't. I feel like Adelaide should be winning this game quite comfortably. I've sent them by 47. Happy to remain with that. And I feel like they should be getting a massive win over a not-so-great team in West Coast. I would be very shocked if West Coast were to win. And if West Coast were to win this game, Adelaide is also a seller-dweller as well. If uh, if West Coast were to win, because uh, that's not good for the Adelaide Crows. Now, um, West Coast, they haven't been great this year. Uh, we all know that. Adelaide have been okay. The, their wins have been impressive versus the Western Bulldogs, Richmond and Port Adelaide. Some really, really good names in there. But then they've lost some, some games against um, the likes of GWS, uh, Essendon. So th they don't stack up very well. Adelaide have had a bit of an air season, which has resulted in not great. And their 3-11 record, they've lost five on the trot. But I feel like this is the game where they get back onto a winning streak and they win this one by 47. Gold Coast versus North Melbourne is next up. Footy back in Darwin again um, for the Saturday Twilight uh, fixture time slot. And Gold Coast will be taking on North Melbourne. So Gold Coast having a week up in the Northern Territory. This game is not going to be any fun either. I see... I see Gold Coast taking this one out convincingly um, by a, a, another big margin as well. They smashed the Hawks up there last week, so they should be smashing the Roos as well. I don't see this one being a great game at all either. I feel like Gold Coast walk over the Kangaroos convincingly. Gold Coast hit 12th on the ladder and are definitely pushing for finals this year. Meanwhile, North Melbourne is at 17th and are cellar dwellers with the West Coast Eagles. Uh, West Coast and North Melbourne both with the one win this year, which is pretty sad and pretty disappointing for them. Both the clubs are a mess. And Gold Coast, um, they're, they're possibly doing better than what the latter suggests. They are in 12th, but they've had a pretty good season. Like Their first few rounds may not have been the greatest, but 
you go back and, and it all started like with a brilliant, like they defeated Carlton, they defeated Sydney, they've defeated Fremantle, some some of the really good top four, top eight teams. They came close to the Western Bulldogs, they've smashed the Hawks, um, so they've, they've been pretty good. Have Gold Coast North, not so great, so Gold Coast, big winners for me. Now Melbourne versus Sydney is a Saturday night time slot. Uh, and to the MCG, Melbourne will be looking to get revenge. Uh, and Stephen May is such a crucial part of their defensive unit as they were broken up, broken up, broken uh, to pieces last week versus Freo, which is very disappointing for them. And Sydney, same with them. They basically robbed Richmond of a win, came back from 33 points. So Sydney haven't been great. Um, for well, parts of the season, and Melbourne have just been brilliant all year, apart from last week's um, second half failure versus Fremantle. Uh, but I feel like this game is still one sided. I feel like Melbourne do get the job done. Um, I don't think it's by a lot, a lot, but I do still feel like they'll win um, over the Swans. And um, yeah, the Swans, they do just, I feel like they haven't been the greatest in the past few weeks. So. I don't know. They, I feel like they'll make the top eight, but I just don't feel like they'll be top four this year. I feel like they'll be sliding down the ladder a little bit more. Um, I, I still feel like they'll make top eight, but, yeah, I just don't feel like top four for them. And Melbourne, I reckon they'll still lock away first. Even though last week wasn't great, uh, Melbourne are first on the ladder. Sydney is seventh. Um, this one could be closer than what we think Sydney might contest, but I just feel like Melbourne are the better team for me. Hawthorne versus Collingwood is the first game on the Sunday. Now, this one was looking like a very 50-50 game before the Suns and the Hawks clashed last week. But ever since that game, the result of this game is already pretty known. Collingwood, what a last few weeks they've had. They've defeated Frio and Carlton. Um... So yeah, they've they've been they've been good, and the round nine versus the Western Bulldogs was horrible. But uh, yeah, they've they've defeated Fremantle and Carlton, two very top four competitive teams. They've knocked them out. Um, Fremantle by thirty six, I believe, and Carlton by four. So they've been pretty good in the past few weeks. Um, Hawthorne, they. They had a brilliant win over Brisbane at UTAS and then failed against the Suns. So Hawthorne have been a 50-50 team and they could come out and win this game. Um, I would be quite surprised if that was to happen though. Hawthorne sit 13th, Collingwood sit 10th. But I am thinking Collingwood, well I'm saying Collingwood in this one. Collingwood, I just feel like are the better team. And they're kind of in a similar position to Gold Coast as well. So see it this way, right? Collingwood are contending for the eight along with Gold Coast. And their season's been all right as well. Now, yes, they did lose to... um, They went down heavily to the Western Bulldogs and and they lost to West Coast. But other than that, I feel like they haven't had a too bad of a year. So again, Collingwood, they, could be, they might be contending for the top eight as well and throw another spanner into the works. But Collingwood have been all right this year and I feel like they'll win this game, which is a big game for their season. And now to the final game of the round, Fremantle versus Brisbane, third versus second, blockbuster clash at Optus Stadium now. To be completely honest, this one could go 50-50. I've got no idea uh, who will be winning this game. I have obviously put in a tip, however. But this one is 50-50. I feel like this is the 50-50 game of the round. Third versus second, as I said earlier, with the Lions being the being the second place team and the Dockers being the third. Now, Brisbane last week versus who was who did they play last week? They played GWS. It was far from good, really, to be completely honest. Um it was far from their best, but they got the job done and took the four points, uh, which has actually been a thing they've done a few times this year uh, for Brisbane. They've just managed to take the four points, but not in the greatest of fashion. Uh, but I feel like they're going to really be contesting hard in this one. And Fremantle last week versus Melbourne was fantastic, and they've been pretty good all year, except when wet weather footy has hit. Then they haven't been as great. Now, if it's wet weather footy, Brisbane will win. Uh, it is pretty comfortable. I'm pretty confident to say that. Uh, if it's wet weather footy, pretty much everything does go against Fremantle. But I am saying Fremantle because I just feel like home ground advantage of the stadium. I feel like they will win. Um, it's going to be a really good clash. Really close. I've said the Dockers by seven. But again, I feel like I could go 50-50. Wouldn't be surprised in whichever team wins. Little look back at round 11. Sydney won by six over the Tigers. The Lions got over the Giants by 14. The Cats stormed over the Crows by 42. The Dockers turned a 31-point loss. Well, 31-point trailing to win by 38 over the Demons. 
Uh, the Dogs smashed the Eagles by 101. The Suns got over the Hawks by 67. The Saints got over the Roos by 53. The Pies got over the Blues by 4. And then Port Adelaide, not very convincing winners, only winning by 16 over Essendon. That is round 12 for you. So... The ladder looking interesting, of course. Second versus third. If Brisbane win, they'll really extend their lead on teams like Fremantle. Um, and they'll, they'll really uh, be pushing on Melbourne's tail. Uh, but if the Dockers were to win, well, then they'll really start opening up who can finish second. Uh, and then also same deal for St Kilda and Carlton. They've got a, they've got they've got their buys, but again they'll be back strong after the buy. Top eight race is also looking good. You can see their Gold Coast. Um, on 20 points. Collingwood are on 24. It's a really interesting finals race for now. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Yes, quick. Yes, we like quick around here. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Goodbye, everyone. Flaming footy out.